Okay, uh, this is six scales, January 12th. So, um, Lubo, I think the, we can talk, I probably will just talk about um, this PR since you brought up that there was some performance changes and I did a quick look at uh, the the um, end to end running times and I did notice a difference. Do you have any thoughts on this uh, kind of, I mean, you can see like some of the changes that, that came up were like, the the number of requests for patch and, and update did change. I don't know if that's what, what's the cause here, but that is different. And then the um the creation times for the P50 and 95 were also noticeably different. Uh, I don't know. Do you have any thoughts? Is that what you saw when you did this test locally, or what do you think? No, it's, no. So let me explain. So basically, what the change is doing is. Uh, replacing the libvirt as a, some kind of metadata store for for internal memory store, right? And therefore, we can have a quicker updates of the metadata. And there were some worries that this might cause a little bit more events to be emitted to weird handler and maybe degrade the, the performance. But what I saw in in local testing, I was just looking into how many more events we get from the launcher to the handler and how many more sync loops that will cause on the handler side, right? And I just tested, I think, simple crate of simple VM and migration of the VM. And I saw actually decrease of the, of the sync loops required for the VM to go to running state and to migrate to the, another node. So I, I was thinking this might have some you know, savings on the time uh, spent in the looping in the sync and it might improve actually something. But then you uh, actually pointed out that we, we are nine seconds slower on P50, uh, 95, right? and even on, on the other person deals. Uh, so I'm, I'm not quite sure. But then I was looking into other jobs or history of the job performance jobs. And I actually saw similar numbers uh, from, for, for example, day before the, the PR got merged. So I'm not sure where your data points are coming from. Yeah, I looked at the, I looked at this job. I looked at the, the results from this job and then I went back about, um, I looked at two different results from a week back and and that's where I pulled the, um, that's where I pulled this data from. And this is roughly around what we've seen is like close to right, right around 30. So, um, I mean, it could be that maybe this is something to do with another job. I mean, I can look at a few others. We can go a little farther back and let's do a comparison. Maybe, maybe we, with the two I pulled, a bit of an outlier. Let me see. Um, let's do a quick look at this one. So here's the third, here's 32. Yeah, okay, so here's close to what you were seeing on yours, right? 32, 39. Are you sharing screen or? Oh, sorry. There we go. You see that? So this is about, um, I think it was about a week. I pulled it from here three weeks back. So toward the end of the year. So this is um, 32, 39, 39. what it comes out to. So that was, and then what did we say on your job was 34, 39, 47. So I, we'll ignore the P99 for a second. We'll say 34, 39. So it's kind of within the 32, 39, still within. So yeah, I mean, still within the a few seconds of it. So that's not so bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe it would be interesting to see where we got the delay of nine seconds. Yeah. 
Well, I guess what we could do is like, since this is merged, what we could do is um, I can continue to monitor this and see if like well, roughly where this goes, like and see if it kind of we stay with because it could be that what happens is like we start to get a we end up with a few of these maybe every once in a while or if we even hit some jobs that are kind of stay within the thirties which is which is fine like that's that's acceptable so I think that's that was kind of the point it's like to me like it, it just seemed like um, the number of requests changed but i don't know maybe there isn't much of an effect here i mean definitely it's interesting to see that we got only one patch uh in the in the previous results which is which seems to be a little bit low yeah um, and you know it's sort of like i'm looking at um like here's another one that i took here's 100 and here's 59 and maybe yeah, I mean, so I, I thought that was associated, looking at a few of these, I thought this was associated with your change, but maybe it's not. Oops, wrong window. So what when you went through your change, um, you saw fewer sync loops. Um, what, what, um, what, what, what were the number, of, which requests would you expect less of? Like, you uh, know, would you think you see less of? It, it could be that we have less patches and updates of the virtual okay. machine. Okay. Because, yeah, if we have a fewer sync loops, and before we had on all of the sync loops, we had some uh, updates, and now we have only fewer uh, runs, then maybe we can have uh, less patches and okay. up updates. I think, so I'm kind of thinking a lot here. What I think we're gonna to need to do is because kind of like looking at some of the jobs and basically doing this by hand, like looking through, I think I think there's some variation. And I think what I'll, I think we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to take some of these numbers and I'm gonna to have to post averages or something, just something that it's a little bit more smoothed out so that we can examine it over time. Because I guess like, this is a little, it's a, I think it's a little too raw because if we're seeing like a hundred patches and then I'm going to another job and we're seeing, like I saw one here, which is a little strange. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think probably what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to change our data a little bit. Kind of what I'm thinking is maybe we can, maybe we can take like averages over time and post them somewhere because otherwise I think we're gonna have a hard time basically interpreting your results. Yeah, some, some kind of tracking tool that would allow yeah. us to see how, how for example, the P50, P95 LLs in a time. Do you know, do you know if like there's something we can do in Prow like that would, where we could, we could parse this data and then take like an average of it and, and then post it to I don't know a web page like maybe we can post it in Git. Maybe we can post it in. I'm not really yeah. sure. Maybe there's a place. Do you have any ideas? Yeah, I have an idea. I'm not sure how we implemented it, so I would need to refer to my memory. Uh, oh, no. But let me pause the link. So for the CI help, we have some metrics. For example. Uh, what's the merge queue length, or what's the time to merge, and so on, and we we create these graphs, and we could have something similar for the performance jobs. Do you see my link? I, I posted it into the meeting chat. Yeah, Let's scroll down. We have these kind of graphs, which we could uh, create okay. for tracking the P50, P95. Yeah, that, this this is exactly what. Okay, so how does this work exactly? This is um, this is uh, generated from Prow. I think we expose some metrics, and then we periodically collect them and uh, do a graphs for them. But I will need to refer my memory. Okay, this is helpful. I can look into this uh, as well and see maybe, I think, is it Daniel the maintainer? 
and, and Federico and okay. I can, I can ask questions around in, in the, um, on Slack. Okay. That's, that would be really good. I think that would help us because yeah, I'm kind of like looking at some of the comparisons, like we have some historical data in the document, like in our, in our meeting notes as to what like we've seen over time, but we don't really have any smooth averages. So yeah, I think it might be hard to say exactly what the, you know, precise changes. Okay. Yeah. If you have some, yeah. okay. If you have some opportunity to pull, to play with it, like on some cluster, maybe uh, where you have some better historic data, that would be nice to to see what happened there. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah we should be able to look back and once I have yeah once we, once I have a chance to play around with this, let me. We'll do a, I can let you know what, what we end up seeing in the, in the graph here. Sounds good. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Thanks Lubo. I think, I think that's probably all we have. I, I, I don't, we'll, we'll look at the performance periodic results at the time and we'll just yeah, start I with that. I think this is a good action item for now. I will also try to look at, I'll look at these. And cool. 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 All right. Well, thanks for, thanks for joining Lubo. Uh, I'll let you know what we find and, uh, we can when when I have something we can we can talk again in a in a future uh, in a future meeting. Thank you very much. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Lubo. All right. I'll end it here then. Bye bye. Bye bye.